We begin at FSCJ's downtown campus, where final testing is complete and a new driverless shuttle service has launched. The Ollie 2.0 autonomous shuttle, courtesy of Orlando-based Beep and powered by UK-based OXA, went through a series of test runs before the final analysis was sent to federal safety officials for final approval. The Ollie was also one of several vehicles tested by JTA at its Armsdale Test and Learn Center. JTA partnering with FSCJ is nothing new. The college offered space at its Cecil Center campus on the west side for a JTA autonomous test track. JTA and FSCJ also partnered on a new autonomous technology curriculum to advance the study of this advancing technology. After winning federal approval, the shuttle pilot program officially launched late last month in a ceremony outside of FSCJ's Building C on the downtown campus. The ceremony announcing the launch of an autonomous shuttle on FSCJ's downtown campus began with officials from both the college and JTA arriving on one of the OLLI self-driving vehicles. FSCJ President Dr. John Avendano pronounced driverless shuttles on the campus this way. It is the future and it is here. Avendano credits JTA's vision with making it happen. So many of the exciting new initiatives and enhancements are only possible thanks to the vision, the support, and the generosity of partners like JTA who walk alongside us in our mission to make higher education available and accessible for everybody within our community. For JTA CEO Nat Ford, it's a vision that starts with the students here at FSEJ, but will ultimately continue into the community to anyone with a need for flexible mobility. In this future, what I see is a Jacksonville where those with mobility needs will be able to regain their independence through the use of these vehicles. JTA board chair Debbie Buckland pointed out that these autonomous shuttles represent something beyond just another project rendering for which Jacksonville residents have become all too familiar. We see a lot of renderings here in Jacksonville. Um, I know I get a little bit tired of seeing them and when we have something that actually comes to fruition, we've had two recently, we had the fountain come to life and now look at this, look what we're doing here at, at uh, Florida State College of Jacksonville. As the CEO of BEEP, one of JTA's partners in its autonomous program, Joe Moy has a unique perspective on where this project, along with JTA's progress in the autonomous transit solutions realm, is viewed not just in the U.S., but around the world. As a company, we've had the opportunity um, to work globally on this important area of technology and innovation. Um, as a native of Jacksonville, there's nothing that makes me more proud than seeing our city and the JTA and FSCJ on the world stage of innovation. This day was about the future, a future of a new generation of mobility for Northeast Florida, and a future of new educational opportunities in a new and expanding technology, where Jacksonville and FSCJ is at the epicenter. Our faculty, staff, and students now have access to autonomous technology program representatives, and they are regularly serving as presenters at national AV and EV conferences. The shuttles run weekdays between Building C and the administrative office, moving students and faculty back and forth.